Welcome below decks on this Grand Banks 42 Classic. We're looking at some of the below deck systems over here on the port side. You can see that big stainless steel box. That is the water heater. And on the water heater, you might see that blue hose down at the bottom. That connects to the radiator or the heat exchanger on the Caterpillar. And that brings 180 degree hot water to the water heater. And through a water heater heat exchanger, it will warm up the water for the sink and the shower. Here we're looking at a Grunert. This is a cold plate. And that was the control box. And down here is the actual compressor system. Very much like an air conditioner system on board of a boat. And you can see the tubes back there in the back where you've got raw water coming in and going out of the compressor system. So that actually cools the compressor to cool the cold plates up in the boxes, the freezer and the refrigerator. Over here you can see a water pump. That's the potable water or the drinking water pump that pressurizes the water going into that big tank over there that's a bladder tank or a pressure tank or a reservoir so that you don't have water pulsating coming out of the shower or out of the sink. I'm crawling around on top of some batteries, so pardon the camera jumping around. Looking here, you can see a blower. This is the actual engine room blower to evacuate the fumes or the heat out of the engine room. And you can see that hose to the top left and to the top right look like horns on a cow. One of those on the top left drains the sink out of the galley. The one on the top right, you see that black piece, that's a vented loop or an anti-siphon loop for the shower in the forward part of the vessel. And then look in here in the middle where they join together, there's a black piece that looks like it's going up underneath the blower. That is actually a scupper on deck. And then everything joins together there at the black three-way piece, and it goes down under the boat under the side and overboard. So the sink drains over, the shower drains over, the bilge pump for the shower drains over, and the scupper drains over. So those are all overboard drains. Looking here to the right, you can see this very large inverter. This is a trace inverter. It's very big. I can't reach over there and read what size it is, but I'm going to guess it's at least 3,000 watts or 3 kilowatts. Very big inverter. And then to keep the inverter happy, we've got two big 4D batteries. There's one 4D battery there, and then the other 4D battery down here in the bilge where I'm sitting. So looking back over here, I want to draw your attention to those three different color wires. Black, red, which are the common positive and negative, red and black, for DC voltage, but also the newer color yellow. Yellow is the new black, or yellow is the new ground where the old ground used to be black. So we're coming upon the end of this show. Just wanted to show you all of the different features and functions that are below deck a cruising boat. And want to invite you to one of our cruising seminars, maintenance. So it's a do-it-yourself maintenance seminar so that you, the boat owner, can learn how to take care of a lot of this different equipment. If you have any questions, you know who to call. Ask Captain Chris.